Hello everybody, it's Atomic Tom. Atomic! We've got some cool experiments to do in this video. We're going to be using this thing, a balloon, and we're going to do it all about static electricity. But before we get on to our balloon experiments, and there are loads of cool things that you can do, so many I'm actually going to make two videos, so make sure you check out part two as well. But before we get on to our experiments, we need to learn what electricity is. We need to talk about how it works. And to do that, I need to introduce you to something called an atom. So here is a picture of the model of an atom. Now we can't see one atom on its own because they're way, way too small. So instead we can draw this picture just here, this model. Can everyone say atom? Awesome. So the way that an atom works is a little bit like a Lego brick. I like to think of it like a Lego brick. If you have one Lego brick, you can't do very much with it. Stand on it, hurt your foot. But if you've got loads of Lego bricks, you can pile them up and stick them together and join them together to make things. So you can join the bricks together to make a house or a boat or a spaceship or a donkey, whatever you like. The whole idea of Lego is that you can put it together to, in any order to make whatever you like. It's kind of the same with atoms. We get different types of atoms and we join them together in different ways to make different things, to make the whole world around us. So tables and chairs and us, even we're made out of atoms. The way that that links to electricity is that on the outside of an atom, there is something that kind of whizzes around it really fast called an electron. And that word kind of sounds similar to electricity, doesn't it? Electron, electricity. What we do is we get these electrons kind of busy and excited and doing stuff. And the proper science name for that is charged. And when they're charged, that makes electricity. We can then use that charge to kind of make the electricity go somewhere if we want to, through wires to make lights work or uh, the sockets in your house. Or sometimes when the electricity is kind of stuck and the charge can't go anywhere, it's called static electricity. And that's what we're doing today. So this balloon is made out of atoms because everything's made out of atoms. So what we do is we rub the balloon on your head like this, or I found today that rubbing it on my black background works quite well. And then once we have that rubbed like that, we have charged the electrons and we can do some cool things with that. So my hair's kind of tied up, it probably won't work very well, but you might be able to see there that I can make my hair dance around a little bit. It's not stuck to the balloon with glue or water or anything like that, it's the charge from the electricity. You can hopefully see these little bits of white paper I've got on here. If I charge the balloon a little bit more, even easier to see than my hair, you might be able to see these bits of paper starting to move and jump around and dance around. White balloon, I'm afraid, and white bits of paper, but you can probably see them stuck there as well. There are loads of cool things you can do. Let's charge it up a bit more. You can also make it stick to your hand like that. So look, my fingers are all spread out. I'm not holding on to it. It's being pulled towards it by the electricity. You can hopefully even stick it to a wall. So give all of those a go. I will introduce some more experiments to do with static electricity in part two. So make sure you watch that one. But there are loads of things to do there. So get on with those ones and we'll see you another time. Atomic!